<laughs> okay, so we're working on um, annotating texts for, for better comprehension. Um, I have made a handy, handy dandy little uh, acronym, I guess, is what I'll call it. <laughs> it's just That's the word an acronym, annotate. Yes. <laughs> Um, so, so when annotating, keep in mind, analysis, names, nuance, opinion, tone, audience, tension, and then extra. Um, so for analysis, it's just basic. I don't know if I can call it basic. Reading comprehension, making sure that you know what is going on. Um, yeah. names, especially reoccurring names. Since we're dealing with the beginning of the Iliad as, and as, as an example, like, Sometimes it's hard to know who's going to continue coming back other than right. the first, like, two big names that they give. Which you uh, know are going to happen. <laughs> but hey, this isn't, <laughs> this isn't the, uh, the, the, the part of the Iliad that's just the category of ships. So most of the names are important, as opposed to none of the names being important. Yes. <laughs> uh, nuance, uh, connotations... Uh, places where the the writing feels important. Um, yeah. Opinion. What do you think about what's going on? Because writing is only partially what does the author intend to say, and is also incredibly like what what are you receiving from the text? Uh, tone. How is the the author or the narrator if those are separate? Uh, which with the Iliad is hard to tell. <laughs> yeah. Um, how are they talking about the events? What words are, are they using, which is related to nuance, but it's also like, are they trying to condemn a character? Are they not condemning a character? Like, what is their approach to what's going on? Um, what is their framing? Yeah, yeah. Audience, which is tone, but more purposeful even though tone is also on purpose, but like how is the the author or narrator speaking to the audience themselves, like with the beginning of the second stanza in the Iliad, there's a rhetorical question. Like the, the, the narrator doesn't just imply that there is an audience, but directly talks to them. Uh, tensions, where's the conflict coming from? What kind of conflict is it? Um, We've got the, the standard six types of conflict, character versus self, character versus character, character versus nature, character versus God or the supernatural, character versus technology, and character versus society. Um, and then extra, which is just, what's going on that's fun? <laughs> what caught your eye? Um, In this case, it's the epithets. Yes, yeah. Uh, so as an example, I did the first couple of lines, um, and if I can move all of the pieces on my screen, I should be able to make this one. Okay, do you want to keep the, the annotate part over here in the corner, or do you feel like you've got it? Uh, I think I've got it. Okay, so then we can make this one full screen so you can actually see my comments. Yeah. Um, sorry, I just have to keep moving the, the, the like video part around, because it's like, oh, you're covering... You're covering my notes. <laughs> yeah, you're covering everything I'm supposed to be looking at. No. Um, so I've already done an example. Um, you can yeah. see by the, the the color coordination, which is why I had the highlighting, um, that I've picked out three important names. W one of them isn't like the name of a person. It's just the Achaeans. Um, but it is kind of important to know that they're the Greeks or also the Argives because the Iliad kind of goes back and forth as, as to who they get called. <laughs> yeah. Um, two places that I've picked out tone, one place for um, strange wording, nuance. Yeah. Um, one just, this is a plot point. Yeah. <laughs> Zeus is important here. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, and, and actually, tensions. Zeus could be colored green as well. Zeus could also be colored green. Um, I chose not to in this instance because it's the will of Zeus. Right, um, right. Where, where, like, Zeus is 
kind of a character, but he's also kind of like an invisible hand that just moves things around. Nature. Yeah. Yeah. And whether or not the Iliad is a character, specifically Achilles versus God, or specifically versus fate also falls under supernatural and also kind of God. Yep. 